first time watching any of my videos thank you so much for clicking this video and taking a chance on what I have to say and if you are returning to my channel thank you so much for sticking around I appreciate it so much um today is currently Friday I just got back from work it is 9 12 and I am filming this is probably the latest that I've ever filmed just because I've been struggling to think of a video idea but I just got a new MacBook I've had this for like maybe two weeks they came with some airpods uh, hold on they came with some airpods I have this cute little airpod right here um it's a little cow drinking boba so adorable and I got it for free with the MacBook and I was like you know what I have a new tech device you know let the video be about that I guess because I can't think of anything else so why should you listen to me? Why should you pay attention to somebody that has like 180 subscribers talking about should you get a MacBook or should you get a Windows laptop? Well, because I'm just like you. And what I mean by that is we both don't really, probably, unless you're like really smart, but both of us probably don't really know all the technical aspects to Windows versus MacBook, you know, we just kind of know MacBook is from Apple. It kind of, you know, has the same interface, you know, it uses Mac OS. It's very different from, you know, Windows and uh, Microsoft and all that stuff. So I'm basically going to break down my points on a day to day. Regular student just wants to know what's the plain difference. You know, not all the talk of, oh, Apple just gave us a new microchip. It has this much speed. You know, I don't understand all that stuff. Oh, there's a new processor. Oh my gosh, the new update has this, this technical thing in it. What are you talking about? Like, is it fast? Yes or no? Don't tell me about micro, microprocessor chips. I don't know what it means. I mean, I love watching tech videos, but I, I don't know what they're saying. You know, so that's my point is, listen to me because I'm just like you in that sense. We don't know what they're talking about. Like, what are you, ta what are you saying? English, please. But that's basically what I'm here to do is speak English. Which is faster, which is more convenient, which battery lasts longer. Obviously, it's going to be a very broad comparison because I don't have every single MacBook compared to every single Windows laptop. But surface level the differences and while i'm doing that i'm going to be decorating my macbook with a bunch of stickers that i've had for a long time i didn't know what to use them for so i'm going to be using that today all right let's get right into the video i don't want to talk too much like i usually do all right let's get into it all right you guys i have my macbook over here um these are all the stickers I'm going to be using. I got these from AliExpress a while ago, like last year, and I never used them. I wanted to use them in my bullet journals, but I didn't know they were going to be this big. So I I didn't use them for my bullet journals. Um, so I was just waiting for whatever. And I got a clear case on my MacBook. I'll probably link that in the description. I was like, you know, why not just decorate it, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing, like I said. So let's clear all that off. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'm going to be decorating and I'll be talking about the MacBook versus the Windows laptops. And yeah, hope I can contribute to your excitement. I'm probably guessing you're watching videos like these because you're excited of getting a MacBook or a Windows laptop. I don't know, probably a MacBook though. Alright, so the first difference I noticed between a MacBook and a Windows laptop First off, battery life. Um, MacBooks last a long time. I my, I thought it was normal for a laptop to last two hours max because that is what my Lenovo laptop does. I have a Leno Lenovo 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 Legion. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this the right way? Please. No, I am not. Hope these aren't too hard to take off. Yes, much better. All right, so I was also saying the MacBook, the life, 
the battery on this thing is amazing like my Lenovo has never it wishes it was this good like the I notice in general because I've used a lot of windows this is my first time actually owning any kind of MacBook and I am shocked because all my windows laptops the battery is all of them it's been terrible I have to always plug the laptop in after literally like I don't know like three hours max that any of them have ever lasted me and that's terrible so number one with the macbook versus the windows i gotta give it to macbook for great battery like i've had this thing for two weeks and it's never died on me i think the most it's gone to is like 50 percent and that was with me doing homework listening to music and watching videos for school at the same time and after like i don't know after like four hours of not charging it it was at 50 so that is great battery um what else user friendliness i will probably have to give it to the windows laptops for this one because macbooks i don't know they're very confusing probably because i'm coming from windows but it's such a huge change i just i prefer Windows. So that's the thing. If you're coming from Windows and you use a lot of Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Word especially, it is so different on the MacBook. The right click function that you have on Windows that pops up everything, you can change indentation, spacing. It is so hard to do on the MacBook. I'm probably going to start typing my essays just on my Windows laptop because it is just so much more convenient. So that's another thing, depending on what you use your MacBook or Windows laptop for, you might just stick with one over the other. Um, that's just what I've noticed with using Microsoft Word, which I use a lot, it's just so hard on this MacBook that I'm just going to start writing my essays on my Windows because I can't get the formatting right for like MLA and APA. And if you're a student, that's really important, so keep that in mind. But if you've been using the MacBook the whole time and you're comfortable with it, I mean, good for you. Keep up with that, you know? Let's see. Uh, what else? I would say I have a pretty expensive Lenovo laptop. It cost me like, well, not me. My mom paid for it. It was like 900 and I paid... 900 for this because it was on sale the school discount and it comes with your paws. So usually this is 9.99, but I got it for 8.99 and after tax I paid 970 something but with Windows Windows has a very rangy price point, you know, you can go from a thousand two thousand three thousand or you can find things for like 500 400 200 which is what I like about it. If you're considering cost, if that's a huge thing for you, please look elsewhere and not at MacBooks because you will be disappointed. <laughs> um, what else? So, I would say, yeah, price point, Windows definitely. Usability, I would say Windows too. Probably because I'm used to it, I'm probably biased, but Windows seems more, it seems easier, I don't know. I prefer Windows in that sense. Um, let's see, I'm trying to be careful with my placements. Um, what else? Okay, in terms of how fast they run, I would say, depending on your price point for the Windows laptop, you're probably gonna have like a good running laptop that doesn't like freeze. This laptop, my Windows laptop, has never frozen on me before. Um, I've been using it for like three years now and it has never slowed down. This is so hard to open. It works perfectly fine. And it's never frozen before. So if you get a good, but from a good brand like Lenovo or HP, Acer, Acer, whatever it's called. I don't think lagging is going to be an issue for you. And obviously with my MacBook, 
it has not lagged because it's very brand new so i can't really say in the long run using it for the same amount of time as my lenovo that it'll act the same i hope so because it's pretty gosh darn expensive but yeah i'm liking how this is turning out about these laptops oh the macbook air this is an air 2020 version it is so light like i got this primarily because of portability and that is exactly what it is it is extremely portable compared to my heavy and huge windows laptop this is so portable, which is why I got it, because I needed something I could put in my bag for school, because I'm taking a bunch of Excel and programming classes. So my regular laptop was not going to cut it. Yeah, so if you're looking for portability, MacBook Airs are really good for school. If you're going to take notes on yours, I definitely prefer... I mean, yeah, you could get a smaller Windows laptop. That's definitely an option, but I'm just saying from what I have in my current standing this was better for me but if you're leaning more to the windows definitely there's so many small windows laptops that would probably be okay for you um what else what else what else um in terms of apps and downloading stuff windows definitely because it's just so easy to download music and um download movies without having to go through the finding iOS version, you know, downloading apps. You don't need to worry about Mac OS version, which sometimes is not there or just harder to get. So that's one thing. If you do a lot of downloading of movies and stuff, Windows might be better for you. Um, okay, so if you're a YouTuber like me, this is extremely helpful because all the videos that are on my phone just sync to this or I could just easily access my iCloud especially because I film on my iPhone and then I have to send it to my on my Windows laptop it kind of has a problem with the conversion of the files because when um, iPhones film in .mov and Windows is really compatible it does work with .mov but it's it's more seamless with mp4 or mp3 you know those popular files so I've had so many times where the issue is that it's not reading my .mov file, the video. It says it doesn't recognize it, it's not supported. And I've had to like change the format through like video converters online and that is so frustrating. So this helped me so much in my YouTube because literally this has iMovie too so I can edit on my laptop. I've been editing on my phone this whole time by the way. Um, so that was another, wait, I'm going to keep this one right here for now, because, so if you're a YouTuber that you film on your iPhone, a MacBook might be better for you, because everything just syncs, because it's all iOS, everything is easily transferable to the next device. So if you do YouTube, sheesh, I mean, probably get a MacBook. Can I put this plan in? Okay, um, what else? So, I've talked about easy syncing. Definitely, if you have an iPhone and everything else you want is an iPhone, like, sorry, not iPhone, it's an Apple device, except for your laptop. I mean, Apple's already got your money, you know? Might as well just give in. Those are all the stickers I have. And this is the final design, you guys. I think it's so cute. Let me guess. This is so adorable. Yes. Um, what else can I say about the, the laptops? I mean, they're both fast, depending on the brand you get. So I think the finished outcome is so cute. And my wallpaper. I got a cute little wallpaper. 
show y'all this video so adorable i love it i forgot what character that is where he's from but it is so cute so that's my wallpaper and i also wanted to add that um another important thing to think about is the storage space so windows laptops come with a lot of space apple kind of i don't know to be honest because my windows laptop has like one terabyte of space and to get one terabyte on the macbook you would have to spend a lot of money this one has whatever the base space is i forget i think it's like 200 gigs so think about the fact that you cannot upgrade on the laptop you get so by default you're probably getting more space with your windows laptops so if you have a lot of downloading heavy files editing videos and storing them on your laptop you might prefer windows just because of the space um and just know that once the laptop starts getting full it starts to lag so if you get a low space macbook and you start to add a lot of files on there that might be a problem for you because it might lag um also you can buy an external hard drive i don't have one well i do have one but it's just to store my videos so i don't know how that would be in terms of comfortability but you have that option too this is the finished product you guys it is so cute oh my gosh i really like it i like how it's like a pink aesthetic love it i'm in love so this is what it looks like and to talk more about the battery life um i've been at work for five hours and i watched netflix for like let's say three hours ish and I did some schoolwork and my battery's at 75. So the battery on this thing is great. I was watching Black Mirror, by the way. So yeah, I would say in terms of looks, versatility, ease of use, battery life, definitely MacBook. But if you're looking at, you know, familiarity, less complicated, windows i mean mac has those things too but if you're in windows it's gonna be a little bit tough to transition fully because i haven't even done that like i'm still using my windows laptop for a bunch of stuff you know so it really just depends on you and what your needs are but for mine i still haven't even made a choice because i'm still using my windows laptop for stuff but it's just completely up to you i just gave you the points and you can make of that whatever you want. Hold on. You can make of that whatever you want. Um, and I hope this video was helpful even in the slightest. Cause like I said, I don't know the technical stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me decorate my, my MacBook. Um, and I hope I helped someone out there, at least one person make a decision. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.